Hello. Oh. Hey, it's me on the couch. How'd you enjoy the New Year's or the 2022 reflection video? I I had fun uh, talking in it. I had fun reflecting on on the year and everything that transpired. Um, I'm pretty sure there, I didn't I didn't really watch the video uh, before uploading it, but I'm pretty sure there's like a big gap where I just didn't say anything and I was supposed to cut it out. But, you know, just been so just busy with things in my life that it's like some things just take a back seat and uh, it's like right now I I'm at home. It's what is it? 5.58 right now, and I just feel like I'm, I'm done for, for the day. It's like, I think I want to be out doing something with friends. Maybe I should have pushed to do that today, but I was also tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. Um, and I always find being at home alone it's like has such like a, a daunting thing to do always having to like self direct yourself into doing things and like finding things that interest you it's like my head can just draw a complete blank nothing happening inside just total empty space no desires no thoughts, just pure, like a hollow shell of a person. That's kind of, I think that's how I'm feeling right now. It's like, nothing interests me. I don't have the motivation or energy to do anything. So just probably, I should probably just lay on the couch. Here I am, laying on the couch. And, um, I don't know. I think that that's okay. Um, like what Bruce Elmo talked about in his book, Conquer From Within. We are all where we're supposed to be right now. So, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. There's also something else I've been thinking about. Like, right now, I'm feeling dissatisfied with my life right now. And what do you do if you're dissatisfied with your life? You do something about it. You do things that satisfy you. And if you can't, you just got to be patient. But there usually is something you can do, even if you're not moving about. <laughs> like, right now, I can learn to just relax, be patient, just sit for a bit, let the mind wander. Even that has its place. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I have so many things I could be doing. Like, working a bit more on school, or making a video, or looking at my finances, or planning this trip I'm planning to do with either myself or with friends. But right now I'm just putting all that to the side. Maybe for the rest of today. Like, 
At least I'm not, like, watching videos. That's something I've been decreasing a lot. And haven't been fully, like, conscious of it. And that's, like, something I was, like, working on before it just became, like, a habit. It's, like, that's the one thing I was focusing on. Like, watch less. Watch less. Yeah. There was something else I was also focusing on. I think it was, like, getting out of the house more or making friends. Something like that. Yeah. Bro, it seems like when you focus on it, you actually accomplish it. Yeah. So, there's things I'm focusing on in my mind, and it'll happen when it happens. I'll do it when I do it. I can't always rush the process, you know? It's like your body and spirit has its limits, right? I've been trying to train myself uh, with, like, the stoic mantra of... Uh, nothing can hurt me when I'm in my mental fortress, something like that. Like, as long as you have mental clarity, nothing can truly hurt you. You can just escape in your mind, kind of dissociate or... Develop mental fortitude to to overcome uh, pain and obstacles. All right. Uh, I don't know. It's like another thing that's been on my mind is like so many people. Uh, I know are on dating apps like Bumble or Tinder. They're the most popular two where I'm at. And they're finding great success in it. And I don't know. I've, I've tried in the past to make it work, but nothing ever comes of it. And I, I still have them on my phone, but I've just lost interest in it. It's like, I almost don't feel like I'm, I'm the dateable type. I have a very, I can, I, I, I'm mature, but I also have a very childish personality and lifestyle. It's like it's it's a weird mix of the two of maturity and childishness of immaturity. So I don't know. That two combination is like why I don't think dating has really worked out for me. And it's also like I I almost feel disconnected from being human. I sometimes feel like I'm an alien. I'm a foreigner. Even though I've lived in this body and I've lived on Vancouver Island most of my life, I've lived in this body all my life. Even though that's Philosophically, philosophically debatable because, you know, our cells reproduce and replicate and die off and get replaced. And so is this body even the same body that we started off with? That's a very big question that doesn't really have an answer for. But it's it's a. Uh, it eludes the point of what I'm trying to make, of not really feeling like I 
truly fit in, truly belong. You know, it's like even this this like back to the body. It's like sometimes it feels like I'm I'm still learning how to function this body. It's like it feels like I've been put in this body recently, and I'm still like learning how to move it. You know. Kind of feel like some things have just been on the reset. So, and when it comes to like understanding people, it's like I'll observe people, but I can't always like relate to people or connect with them on a emotional level there's just that barrier of disconnect but it's even tough to like look into people's eyes it's like i can i can i can look at their face and look into their look at their eyes but like not truly you know when you like look into some look at someone's eyes and you just, it feels like you're looking into their soul. You just, you feel, you feel what they're feeling. I, it's really tough for me to, to do that. So, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm... Yes, I'm myself, but also I'm trying to learn to be human. Learn what it's like to, to be human, especially a young human. It's like I'm I'm I still feel like I'm I'm twenty two and I, I still feel like this is like a whole new thing to me. A very foreign concept being a a young person and being engrossed in this young person culture. I don't know. Some sit some say that I have a old soul. Yeah. An old soul with a uh, underdeveloped body. That's what it feels like. I don't know. It can be frustrating. Like, but like, I know other people have it worse, especially when it comes to ethnicity of being a, a different color and living, a, being a different color and being in a environment where everyone else is a different color from you and isn't fully accepting of you, that's probably, like, very, most likely, like, heavily likely, much more difficult, which, you know, I, I can relate on the level of feeling like a foreigner, but I cannot relate on the level of skin color because I've mostly lived in a white my majority uh, environment. So I, I definitely don't want to take away from, from that. I'm just uh, I'm just stating my own uh, my own feelings and observations. You know, like even, even even white guys, like just like how the Irish were, the Irish were heavily discriminated against, and many parts still are in North American culture. Yeah, wow, funny how 
conversations trail off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm living a better life than than I I was. Like I came back to to school to socialize, build up my education. And that's what I'm doing. But someday, some days it just it doesn't feel like I'm doing enough. I'm not pushing myself enough. I'm not accomplishing enough. But sometimes you just gotta let that go. And be okay to feeling inferior to everybody else, you know, and take some, some pride in what you've gone through and what you've accomplished for yourself, right? These are all personal goals that you, you, you do for yourself, but it still hurts sometimes when you see other people living more of a life that you you wish you could which perhaps with the right mindset because you know mind over matter where you where your mental faculties influences your bodily faculties where it can it can change things on the cellular level but all that takes time, time to practice. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, don't really know. There's not much, much else to say. Besides what I've already said. I've done this before, I think so, on, on the channel, where I've just sat on the couch and spoke my mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that. It's where this, this guy commented on, that guy or girl commented on the video. Shoutouts to, to you. Thanks for your comment. Uh, meant a lot in the moment. I appreciate your words. But, uh, yeah, I guess you can call this like an update video and, and like a blog video. I don't know. If you're still here with me, thank you for keeping me company through a different moment in time. Just sitting here with me. Sweet life. You want to say hi, Freddy? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. Anything that you mind that you bring can find can be found. We got mountains of content, some better, some worse. If none of it's of interest to you, you'd be the first. Yeah. <laughs> Who's a good kitty? Who's a good? Who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Friday is a good kitty, right? P. Freddy is a good kitty. Freddy is a good kitty. This. This will be 
stuff to, to laugh at later on. Oh my god, that's so cringe. Oh my god, I'm so awkward and weird. Yeah. Well, if you want to find a unedited, unfiltered person on YouTube, hello, that's me. You can peer into my life and my psyche. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I think that's it. Bye-bye.